May the 12th, 1919. An astonishing hoard of buried treasure was discovered on Traprain Law, triggering immense interest in East Lothian's history. This discovery led to the establishment of the East Lothian Antiquarian and Field Naturalist Society in 1924, with a focus on studying the area's history and encouraging interest in East Lothian's past. The Society's mission has remained consistent to research the area's antiquities, collect relevant material, publish articles, arrange outings, stimulate public interest, and, and foster historical li literacy in East Lothian. Members have contributed significantly to furthering the Society's objectives, conducting historical research, exploring archaeology, archives, folklore, and natural history. And these findings continue to be shared in the Society's journal, Transactions. To date, there have been 33 volumes published. Through the years, the Society has engaged in various preservation efforts. Notably, in the year 2000, the East Lothian Fourth Statistical Account Project was initiated to survey the social, political, and economic history, as well as the geography, the environment, and the people of East Lothian since World War II. Today, after decades of dedicated leadership under Stephen Bunyan and his colleagues, the Society continues to thrive, contributing to East Lothian's historical landscape with an active role in preservation efforts. Since the Society's very first excursion was in part here to St. Mary's in 1924, I think it quite apt that the Centenary Conference should be held here today. The Society remains resilient, adapting to the challenges of the 21st century, has embraced modern technology by offering virtual lectures alongside their in-person activities. It looks ahead with optimism and a continued dedication to preserving and celebrating the history of East Lothian. I wish the Society, its members, the delegates, and everyone else here a very successful day. Thank you.